you know, you don't necessarily even know the questions that you need to be asking. And they were able to really efficiently make sure that, you know, the right people were involved at the right time. Well, I'm uh, a uh, general dentist, you know, doing kind of everything from the basics, bread and butter dentistry up to, you know, a lot of whole mouth uh, type of dentistry as well as a lot of implant dentistry. It was a lot of some word of mouth um, and also um, some articles I had seen um, in various uh, magazines and things where I kind of kept seeing the same names coming up. And so I did talk to a couple of uh, different firms initially and, and yours definitely stood out. Everything was pretty clear from the beginning as to how um, how it was determined. That was explained really well. I was happy with kind of how things came in. Um, I think because I'd done a lot of research, I kind of had a feel for what the private sales space looked like versus the potential for um, evaluations that I would see um, with, uh, with D in the DSO space. But, um, it followed through what I had been hearing in, in a very positive way. I didn't, I didn't have any big surprises. So I like the idea of having, you know, an visible DSO partner that um, wants to take over the things that for me are things I don't love to do, but also just frankly, um, there's not necessarily a lot of uh, individuals that can come into a small town and maybe achieve the financing even necessary or production in order to finance a practice purchase that's that's you know reasonable production collections and in general i tend to see the trend decreasing in terms of number of uh, doctors looking for that anyway and then also i like the idea that you know I, i'm not necessarily ready to, to transition out some people may be in a different situation mine's a little unique i'm a little younger and i have no you know i'm, I'm i enjoy what i do from the dentistry side, um, but like the idea of having the support um, of a partner that can, um, you know, help me to do more of what I enjoy doing and less of what um, kind of gets in the way of that sometimes. And the stress level just increases, of course, as we do see, um, you know, more competition in the space. I'd rather be um, in a way kind of ahead of that versus um, potentially behind that curve as, uh, as I see how dentistry is changing. And then also, I think for maybe doctors in my situation where they have, you know, built something uh, that's that they're pretty proud of, but realize that in some ways they've kind of painted themselves into a corner of, well, who's going to who can who's going to come back behind me and replace me and buy this practice from me? You know, you don't necessarily even know the questions that you need to be asking. And they were able to um, really efficiently make sure that, you know, the right people were at, involved at the right time that um, the right questions were being asked, um, that I was, you know, referred to the right people who could um, help to um, ease that, uh, any worry that I had, and just gather all the data that's necessary to, you know, kind of push through the, the final steps to get from, you know, uh, the valuation and kind of the, the, you know, initial agreements until we got to the finish line. and. Um, you know, had a team that was available uh, just about any time, you know, day and night and weekend if there were questions um, and, and concerns. And we really didn't have any, you know, anything that, that didn't get hit as it should have been. Um, it, and of course, you know, with the idea of those that are, you know, familiar with how uh, the team works, you know, you could tell that there was a familiarity with how the process worked on both sides and a kind of a, a trust that you could see in terms of, okay, we know you guys are doing this the right way. Um, and I could also see just, I felt definitely much more protected from things I didn't know um, by, by having, um, you know, experience of somebody who's done this a lot of times. Anybody that says, hey, you're gonna go through these transactions you know, you're going to pay, uh, uh, you know, a good amount to people that represent you. But um, as far as business decisions or financial decisions that are, you know, the biggest in your life uh, outside of maybe divorce or something, this is the biggest. And so you um, certainly, 
I mean, the way I run my practice is, you know, that you do get what you pay for. And, um, you know, the risk of making a, an error here is pretty major in terms of uh, things that you may miss out on. And I'm not usually that guy. Usually uh, in some ways I'm like, you know, I can figure this out. I can do this, you know, maybe more on my own and maybe save myself some money on certain things. But I don't feel that way about this. And uh, I feel that it was, uh, yeah, it's definitely anytime you're having to write a check to anybody who wants to, that would be great if you never had to pay anybody anything. But, you know, I feel like if you're getting a uh, good, good service and um, represented well. I think that we, you know, it felt, I feel as if that was uh, made up for in um, kind of the, the end of how the deal turned out for me.